Hey guys, welcome back to another video, it's Fraz here. Now for a lot of us it's spring break or whatever you want to call it and uh, we've also got summer coming pretty soon and that means it's the perfect time to play ERLC and not just play ERLC but I've seen a lot of new servers coming up and around and they're actually looking pretty good. Um, ERLC servers to be specific so uh, I'm probably going to start some new videos you know basically just going over it all because um, I know a lot of people had some questions on it all um, and I'm going to do like a new short video for just each separate thing but uh, I know a lot of you would want a server oh not a server <laughs> I know a lot of you would want a video on how to get servers and make them and stuff so that's what I'm going to do now I already have my own server um, but you know I don't use it for roleplay or anything like that I just use it you know I, I use it more as a private server than an actual roleplay server so yeah I'm gonna show you how to make like a public roleplay server where you can invite people invite friends um get staff members get custom liveries uh do roleplays and all of that now there's a big thing that you need to know before you make your server and it's what you're making your server for. So you need to know, like, are you making your server because you want to make a roleplay community? Is it because you've already got a community but you want a server? Is it because you want somewhere where you, you know, just like a private server where you don't have other people? And also when choosing what kind of server you want and, you know, why you want the server and what purpose you're going to use it for, that's also when you need to know, like, what other things you're going to need. If I'm going to make a community server or a roleplay server, I'm going to need a Discord server as well. So I know that I'm. that's another thing that I'm going to have to make. And another thing is if you're making a roleplay server and you want custom liveries, that's another thing you're going to have to, you know, take in, into consideration. you got to make those liveries or, you know, maybe pay someone to do them. Um, but you also get to pay for the game pass to get actually, you know, create your custom liveries. It's not free. Um, so you got to take everything into consideration and that's what we're going to do. Now, what I'm going to be doing for this kind of series of making our own server, um, I'm just going to be showing you in this video how to set up a server, get it up and running, getting in, getting inside of it, uh, getting a code, allowing your friends to join it, and then I'll just go over like commands, things you can do and steps that you can, you know, do after that to make your server even better. Now, firstly, you've got to load into ERLC, into a public server. Another thing you need to make sure, you will need quite a lot of Robux. I've got quite a bit on me, should be enough. So yeah, you will need quite a bit of Robux. If you don't have enough Robux, it'll be quite hard because there's a lot of stuff to purchase. If I come into here, now, how you actually make the server is we come to here, servers, and then uh, we create a server. Now when you create a server, it'll ask for a server name. This is really important. Now you can change this um, at any time. Um, and I'd recommend choosing a good name. Now what you can do is if you go to listed servers, you can see all the popular servers here. California, Salt Lake City Roleplay, Seattle Roleplay. You've got all of these amazing, you know, roleplays. California Open Roleplay. Florida State Roleplay, all of this, Los Angeles Roleplay, um, and you basically just create your own and follow like the format that people use, so yeah. Now a lot of people do do like UK London um, and also like American servers, so it's up to you what kind of server you want to do, so do you want to do, obviously if you're going to do a Roleplay server, where's your server going to be based, is it in the US, is it a place that you know, is it in the UK? Now, I'm probably just, for this video purposes, I'm going to make mine in the US. I'll probably just call it, like, California State Roleplay, since that's quite a popular name, and a lot of people use that. I mean, see, yeah, look, this this person's got a uh, California State Roleplay. So, we'll probably do something like this, then. Also, one other thing that people do is they add tags. So, I'll show you how to add tags. So, obviously, we come to create uh, our server. California State Roleplay. I don't know if that's how you spell it. So how you add tags is basically there's a little thingy on the keyboard and then you place this little thing and then you can place tags. So I could put like strict RP active staff. Basically tags just advertise your server even more. Um, okay, that's not gonna work. I'll just do this for now um, and then we'll sort the rest out later. But as you can see, would you like to buy the private server costs 50 robux which honestly is really good 
and then we purchase that. Okay, brilliant. You now have your own private server, but how do you get into it? Well, it's actually easy. It'll automatically teleport you into your own private server. So you basically, as soon as you make it, you're in here. Now, one thing that a load of people say is, right, I got on my server, I've left. I don't know, maybe it was night time. I want to come back on in the morning. How do I find my server? It's really simple. Come over to three dots, servers, own servers, and what will pop up is all of the servers that you own in ERLC. Obviously, I've got my Fraz Gaming one, um, which is just one I use for recording. And then I've got my new one, which is California State Roleplay. Now, one thing you need to have a look is in my Fraz Gaming one, I've got a lot of server packs. Now, there are there is one pack I don't have, which is the API pack, and we are going to be going over all of them in separate videos. I'm going to make a video on each uh, pack, which will come out later in the future. But for now, obviously, you won't have any packs, and they all do cost Robux, so that is one thing you need to take into consideration. Obviously, if your funds are limited, so you don't have that much Robux, then go for things that you think you really need. My go-to packs that I would highly recommend every server has is the premium settings roleplay pack and the pro server so the pro server gives you professional features so custom server icons um, visible on the public lists plus a custom invite code um, and stuff like that so I think that's really helpful it's really good as well because it makes it easier for people to find your server by giving them a simple code rather than a really awkward code that is already on your server for free this one however is doesn't give you too much but what it gives is quite significant but um you know that's just some, one thing to take into consideration we also have the roleplay pack so this allows you to basically change uniforms spawn major calls uh, make restrictions basically change all your in-game settings which is really cool we also have premium settings here, lastly, which is I think is really important. Allows you to fully customise your server, changing the ELS colours, editing gun damage, length of day, all this stuff, free cam, basic settings, so permissions, setting up permissions for what people can do when they join your game, stuff like that. Another thing is if you want to make it easy to find your own server, you can favourite it. And if you also come to here, it will show your join code, how many people are online, any restrictions, and any of your packs and also your banner. Obviously, I don't have one. If you do time day, or oh, actually, and it's not time day, I think it's time 12, it makes it daytime. Um, and then once you do get your packs upgraded, you can make it so daytime's like really long. So if you want like a server that's always day, um, just increase your day length, which I'll show you in another video, which has it in the pack, and then make it daytime and it'll just basically always stay day. So if you want to go to your server settings, if you come up to here in server info, it basically tells you some info about your server. So these are all the settings, but obviously you've got roleplay pack, custom delivery pack, all these packs are required. Um, but you basically get basic name, like basic settings, so changing your name, description, your access. So we can make it listed and that means it will basically pop up in this list now enlisted servers one thing i would say don't worry too much too much about your name loads of people are gonna have similar names because there's a lot of popular server names that loads of people like to use so don't worry too much about your name what i'd worry too much about is making sure that your server is unique make your server unique to other servers don't make it similar um and put lots of time and effort into making liveries and hiring staff and also hosting events and role plays and ssus to make sure you're Serve as active as possible. But I think that's going to wrap up today's video. If you do want to get the packs, I'll show you in, the, in other videos on how to grow your servers and stuff. But you do have to join a public server. So to do that, you just go to here, just join a tier one server. Then you'll be able to add packs. Um, so if we go to here, own servers, upgrade packs. We look in here, we can purchase this. Um, oh, well, it's, it's a bit bugged, but yeah. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you want to see more, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on, comment down below. Also, if you look at the subscribe button, it shines, it's brilliant. And if you look at the like button, like, it. whenever I say like, it like glitters, so it's really cool. Subscribe! Anyway, see ya. <laughs>